Uh, I mean, I think it. I think it's, it's weird because you would think that you wouldn't be more active, but I think you're more active when you're playing zone than when you're playing man. And a lot of times when you're playing man, your guys on the weak side, you're just kind of just, you know, sitting there waiting for the ball to come your way or something like that. But in the zone, you're constantly, guys are cutting, you're constantly moving around, trying to constantly talking. Um, it is a way to help, you know, save your legs a little bit. But I think we're, I think we're still just as active. Tomorrow's game. Um, I think it counts as a win or a loss. Yeah. As far as like any big picture thing. I mean, if it, I don't know, maybe in April it'll come down to one game. Who knows? But it's just another game. Obviously, you guys didn't have Paul last time you guys played him opening night, but. Have you seen changes on their end and the way they've played since then? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think having Rondo back, they didn't have Rondo when, they, when we first played them. I think having Rondo back helps them a lot. Um, it creates pace with their second unit. You know, he, he gets guys easy baskets. You know, he's a he's a championship player and he's a great point guard, so he knows how to run the offense, and I think that helps them a lot. What is, what is the advantage of treating this as any other game as opposed to getting more hyped up for it or describing it as, you know, a showdown of the city? Um, I mean, I don't. I, I kind of just block out all that noise. Um, it's, it's, I, in my opinion, it, it just takes away from the actual focus, which is winning the game. Um, it's exciting because it's a Christmas game. I think that brings its own excitement as well. You know, you get that. You get that feel from you know just being in the city. You know, guys. You know, fans being around, bantering all the time. Lakers versus Clippers. Blah blah blah. But at the end of the day, it's just another basketball game. Yeah, I mean. I, was, I, would, I would always sit around my family, we'd open up presents, and then we'd watch games, then we eat dinner. So it's, it's kind of cool, you know, um, to be playing on Christmas. We, I played on Christmas last year, so it's, it's cool to be doing it again for sure. What's Christmas Eve in the uh, Harper's household look like? Uh, just having dinner with some friends and family, you know, just sit around, walk, maybe watch a movie, play some cards. You know, just real real chill, nothing crazy. What's the go-to card game? Uh, play spades. Any Christmas Merry Christmas, huh? Uh, Home Alone. I like Home Alone a lot. <laughs> Do you like playing on Christmas or do you prefer to be home with friends? Um, I mean, that's that's a tough question. Right? I, of course I like playing on Christmas, but of course I like spending time with my family. So, Luckily, we have a 5 o'clock game, so you get to do a little bit of both. You get to spend time with them early, and then after the game as well, you got dinner. So you guys had a full, a full team out there today at practice for the first time. Um, what, kind of, yeah. what does that mean? I mean, it's, it means everything to us, you know, to finally have everybody out here and, you know, be at full strength. It, it, we can finally, you know, figure out what exactly we're going to be moving forward. Tactically, can you guys take anything away from the opening night matchup or is too much time passed? Uh, I mean, I think a lot of time has passed. But I think, you know, I think we did a really good job on offensive boards. I think we did a really good job in transition, you know, in that game. So I think if we could do those things again, we'll put ourselves in a good position. You good? You guys have been able to build big leads, and I know guys have been in and out of the lineup, but sort of the second half is where you guys lose that. What's 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 the reason for that? How do you sort of solve that? Um, I don't know. Uh, I think part of it is maybe maybe we get comfortable and relax a little bit, um, but we can't do that. You know, that's something that we we know we struggled at times with, with keeping leads, um, but at other times we didn't. Other times we were able to put our foot on guys on teams next. So we just got to figure out a way to you know consistently do that. For a whole game. Has it been hard to kind of keep your patience while, while you wait for everyone to get back? Like, as, as like that I mean, no. I mean, it's, it's it's kind of part of the process. Like, you know, even when we have everybody back, we still got we still gonna have a lot to figure out. Um, and it's a long season. Uh, we're we're approaching the halfway mark, so we just gotta continue to build and continue to grow in every day and just try to become better. Thanks. Thanks, Ron. Yep, no problem. Merry Christmas, guys.